is going on guys fmu here welcome back to another episode of grassroots to greatness today we've got ourselves a double live calm against two of european football's biggest competitors the faroe islands and cyprus um no i'm not taking the piss out of them they're great in their own little ways uh i have had a little look at england as a nation and as players and teams and they are not in good skip i must admit um 12th in the world rankings which is not great they've been on a decline for years now there's a, a group a core group of top players you can see them here uh smith sterling stones goodwin ali and cook i've left deli ali out, out of the squad at the moment because he's not been fit so he's not been playing he's pissed but you know, there's not much I could do about it. Um, he's not going to feature in the two games, so I decided to leave him out and concentrate on getting fit again. Plus, he is 33 now, I think it is, 32, 33. Um, we've got two teams where we can afford to give a couple of the lesser players, so to speak, a crack. This is where the problem lies, okay? The lesser players. Now, Nick Nurse has uh, picked up a boo-boo and he is out of the squad, which is annoying because I was really looking forward to playing him. Um, have I... No, we're still going on. Yeah. Oh, uh, we... I need to clear the entire selection. Okay, so we've brought in a couple of players. We've dropped out a few players. Um... This is the bit now I have to try to remember who's come in. Keith Barton has come in. Um, he is the West Ham striker. He's been in good form this season. Um, Steve Round, I appointed as my assistant. Um, he knows the Premier League quite well. He's at Newcastle as assistant on this at the moment. And he advised that uh, Barton was in good form. So I watched him in a game. He played well. He scored. He, he looked very decent. So I thought, right, we'll bring him back into the England fray. Three appearances, three goals at to senior level he's 27 so he's worth a crack you know he's worth he's worth a go um bubakar sambakake or sambake should i say um of arsenal quick strong player great player spoke about him a couple of episodes ago said how good he was and how it would be great to have him in the team he's been recalled to the england squad he's only 23 he's played four games for him only scored the one goal he's been in decent form in the Premier League, eight appearances, seven goals. So he's got that in his, you know, in his lockup. So hopefully he can do well for us. I've given a call up to this kid. I've dropped um, Holgate and given Mark Love um, a crack. He's classed as a wonder kid. He's on loan at Brentford. Sorry, that was really loud. Sorry. He's on loan at Brentford from Man City. He's a defensive midfielder, but he can play in defensive positions if needs be um but he he's doing okay at uh brentford at the minute so i thought we'll give him a call up to the squad will he play i don't know but he's involved and and that does help them out we've kept hamilton in um casper cole didn't make the cut um oliver lavelle has also come in he's a burnley player been in the england setup for a few years now 16 approaches one goal but he's he's done okay so far in the Premier League he's been a steady player for Burnley and I just felt that you know it might be prudent to allow him the opportunity to play his stats for me far better than his star rating uh, suggests so we've given him you know we've given him the opportunity if I can go to here it should uh, ma, 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 ma. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? How often out says England squad? Where is it? Have I gone past it? I may have gone past it. Uh, ma, 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 ma. No, it's down here somewhere. It's down here. It's down here. My God, you sometimes you think they're right there, but they are not. Uh, oh well, half an ounce is England squad. Um, so you know, blah blah blah. Uh, it, you know, I've also it says here that um, midfielder Hamilton could be in line for a first star, as could Love, Patterson, and Tuck. And then there's recalls for Sambake, um, 
the media campaign to leave Target out, set, set up, seems to have been acknowledged. Nope, they never, I never saw anything of the sort. And then Nick Nurse is out due to injury. So there's been a little bit of a change around. Um, oh, you can see there, Deli Ali's been left out. But, you know, it's not the end of the world. Eric Dyer wanted clarification of his uh, future in England. He's 33. He's not starting for Tottenham. I've told him he needs first team games to be called up. So he says he's going to get his head down and crack on with it. So we'll see how he goes with that. If he does and starts playing well, there's a position for him now. I'm trying to... Um, get the younger players pushing on. I'm trying to, you know, dangle that carrot to get them kicking on because English football has taken a kick in the cobbles. It really has. And the young players coming through are just not doing what they need to be doing. So I'm really looking at these young lads in the under-19s, uh, under under-21s, under-20s, the B team, all that sort of stuff to try and really pull it out of them. Um... We're going to go with the controller on today against the Faroe Island. Just give it a crap. Both formations we're awkward at. We haven't got a lot of time to build the players in terms of playing the formation. So it's going to be a gradual process um, as far as that's concerned. So if we hit the quick pick, we're going to stick with the team that it puts in at first. And then obviously we'll make our subs. And then against Cyprus, we will mix things up a little bit. We are away against Cyprus, which I'm aware of. And a bit I want to guard the players a little bit in that respect but as far as I can see there's only one one thing I'm um, I am getting very concerned about the central defensive um positions for the for the country because I look through the central defenders available and there is Naffle there really is Naffle there's Reese Oxford who's at Everton, who's okay, but he's not great. He's not developed on the game as well as you'd hope he could. Um, and it's just, I don't know, it, it's a bit worrying in terms of that central defence. And the, goalkeep the goalkeepers and the central defensive unit are the two massive, massive worries for me. Real big worries. They are weak. They are very, very weak. They are either too old or, t oh, excuse me, or too weak. And that is where, like I say, my main concerns lie uh, for, for England. But we're going to crack on today now against the Faroe Islands. You'd like to think this is where... Excuse me, I've got the hiccups of some kind. They're not like normal hiccups, though. They're like very sporadic. Um, I, I just... I don't know. I'm I'm, I'm worried... I can see why England have not been doing so well because the players are pretty shit, to be fair. Um, they're either too old or too weak, like I've said. Uh, that needs to come up one. Get a bit of speed on it. Oh, Raheem Sterling, well done. Smith with the flick on, Raheem Sterling with the finish. 1-0 after th oh, <laughs> inside the first three minutes. Great little ball across. Smith, look, no, maybe he didn't. Maybe everybody just missed it. And uh, Raheem Sterling th th fires, fires home uh, after just two minutes on the clock. So happy with that. That pushes the Faroe Islands back to the bottom of the group as it stands. But um, I'd, I just, I don't... Oh, oh, Chambers slated him before the game, but he's got in there with a the goal. Well done to the lad. And I believe it was it Stones who hit the woodwork first was both central defenders involved in that but it's okay them doing all right up there it's at the back it's it's defensively i i can just see us being ripped apart by you know the much bigger nations who are good at going forwards you get spain's germany's italy uh, brazil argentina they're just tear us to shreds they really would he's goodwin now mowbray cook marco out to rolf Oh, Smith makes it three. 23 minutes on the clock. We're three nil up. Ronan Smith, 24 minutes. And it's three nil. I don't know why I'd say 24 minutes several times in that little situation there. I apologise. But, um, yeah, I mean, you'd have been... I'd have, I'd have just quit YouTube if we hadn't have won this match. Oh, there's Smith for the fourth. 25 minutes on the clock. Cricket score coming up, maybe. Probably not now. We'll probably just sit back. Look at that, though. It's a beautiful 
Goodwin to Smith. Very unselfish from Goodwin. He could probably have popped that in himself. But he was very unselfish there. Smith now on a hat-trick. Already. He's cooked to Sterling. Foul by Stefan Jonsson. 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 Oh, he's off. Wow. I well, didn't see that coming. Didn't think he'd get sent off for that. He's Goodwin. Breaks into the area. Oh, he's at the post. Sack him. Sack him. Sack him. He's at the post. Of all four shots that have been classed as on target, we've scored so far. So that's not bad going. Also, considering giving one of the other goalkeepers a crack against um, Cyprus. Oh, Smith. Oh, good save from uh, Davidson. Well done, that man. Fair play to him. Pissed on our 100% shots on targets goals record. But that's life, guys. Come on, then. That's it. Mowbray, Barry, good win. Smith, Cook, good win. Well done defensively there. 20 shots inside 42 minutes. <laughs> Ouch, is all I can say. Should be more ahead, really. Here's good win, though. Smith, hat-trick, 5-0, 43 minutes on the clock. Ronan Smith collects his hat-trick. Happy days are here again. Great ball across, great. It, it, just the way he composes himself, you, even though he's only in 2D, you can see him sort of composing himself there uh, to get his head onto that. But we cannot really say anything other than well done. It's expected. I know, but still, they've got to do it. Uh, we'll, we'll keep with them. I don't want to upset anybody by bringing them off at half-time because they don't seem to understand the whole uh, we're 5-0 up, let's rest you kind of mentality. But, go on. So, how did that not go in? Superb goalkeeper. Again, that guy in goal has kept the score down. I've got to give him that. Oh, beautiful ball. Oh, lucky again, Davidson with a fantastic save. He's done well in goal for them. I know he's conceded five goals, but he's pulled off a couple of corking saves. Come on, get the ball off him. That's it. Well done. Nice. Sterling. Barry. Get in 6 0. Nathan Barry. 6-0 to the England. The great ball. Sterling beautifully picked him out. First time wallop from Barry. Straight into the back of the net. 6-0. 54 minutes. Let's make a change. Let's make a change. Come on, baby. Come on, Barbara. Right. Um, I'm going to give... I'm going to give Love his first... Oh, that's not what I meant to do. I'm going to give you your first run out. Um, you can go in. I'm going to leave one change for now, just in case. But here's Goodwin. Barry, Goodwin. Penalty. It is. Who's on pens? Who's on pens? It's Stub uh, Stubbs. Stones. Possibly. I don't know. Stones. Oh, 7-0. John Stones tucks it away. Real fire in his belly there, according to the match commentary. So that's 7-0 to the Angleterre. Taking the piss. See, these games, I love them because it gives you a good chance to smash your goal tallies up and gives, uh, gives you the chance to play some of the younger players in a competitive international. Oh, what a ball to good win. Is he going to do this? Oh, good save. Um, but still, they're pretty pointless, aren't they, really? There's no... Oh, John Stones. 8-0. John Stones. Well done, that man. They are poor, aren't they, Faroe Islands? God bless them. They're a poor team. 33 shots, 16 on target, 8 goals, 12 off target, 5 block, 3 woodwork, 7 clear-cut chances, 5 half-cut. Half cut. Yeah, five pistas fart chances. Good win now. He's in. Oh, 
goal, the pace of Sam Barke there. He had a chance to hit the first effort, have it saved, watch it hit the bar, then run in. Look at that. I mean, look, he's so far away, but his pace and his strength get him there. 9 0 to the England. It is good win. Oh! Go on. Right, we're gonna go on. Go on. Gion. Barry. Good win. Barry. Oh, it's ten. Sam <laughs> Sam Barke makes it ten. And I'm gonna give a debut now to young Jim Hamilton. <laughs> Double figures, ten nil. Happy with that. Not bad for my first home game in charge of England. A 10 0 thrashing of the Faroe Islands. 43 <laughs> shots. We still only have 59% possession, though. That's the funniest thing. That's pretty funny, that. But young Jim Hamilton getting a little run out just before the game ends. Uh, he will start, bar an injury, of course. He'll start against Cyprus. That is for sure. Get in, 10-0. You little beauties. You absolute little beauties. Um, yeah, let Steve Round just tell him, well done. You've done what was expected, basically. Uh, fantastic effort. Their goalkeeper was superb today. From, I know he's conceded 10 goals, but their goalkeeper really did keep him in it at times. It's stupid to say that when you've won 10-0, but he really did keep the score down um, on the odd occasion. But yeah, happy with that. Very pleased. A 10-0 win. That's bumped up our goal difference. No end. That has. Uh, Spain 6-0 over San Marino. Bulgaria only winning 1-0 over Cyprus. I've got a feeling that Cyprus are not going to be as easy to walk over as maybe first thought. Uh, reserved after win. Well done, man. Keeping yourself level-headed. Uh, England optimistic for the future, positively round, runs out of superlatives, well done. So yeah, so it's the next match in Cyprus, we're going to mix it up a bit. I feel we need to, we've got to start, we, you know, I don't know, I don't know how many more games we've got in terms of qualifying, to be honest. Uh, next year, 2028, I don't know. I don't know. Have we played everybody once already then? We must have done. We must have done. No. I don't know. Perhaps the perhaps it's just not sorted yet. I might be going mad. Maybe I'm just being stupid. I don't know. I don't really care. <laughs> but um, we've got to start testing these other players out because we need to we need to get a good idea of who can play where and who can do what and who can cover for who and like I said with so many regens it's it's a case of basically learning the entire pretty much the entire English national football system from scratch and it's not easy off camera I have just literally been sitting looking at players looking at their histories looking at their uh, current form um, what they've achieved in their careers how they've done it under 21 level and all this sort of stuff sort of collating in my mind who I feel might be able to do a job for us and some of them their star ratings are shocking but their stats are pretty decent so it's just getting that balance right and it's not going to be an easy thing to do um, injury blow well, Rolf is out, so we'll have to see what's what there. The poor lad's picked up a bump, so he's going to miss the Cyprus game. I was probably going to carry on playing him um, in the game. Don't have much option elsewhere, to be fair, so we'll have to have a little look see book -see. Michael Johnston, what? Oh, yeah, he's England players. Engl what? Wow. Injuries, injuries everywhere. It's a good job we were going to rotate the squad a bit. That's three first-team players crocked already. 
Um, right, Raheem Sterling needs a rest. That's easily solved with you. Um, you for Barton. Um, Mowbray for Lavelle. Um, I love for you. We need a left back. We need a left back and we... Oh my god, we don't appear to have one. Oh shit, I must... Oh, I took Luke... I took Luke Shaw out. I took the wrong player out. I was supposed to drop somebody else and I've took Luke Shaw out. What a bollock to drop. Well, Gomez, you're going to be playing out of position, I'm afraid. Uh, you need to come out you're injured. So do you. So do you. Um... You to there, get you to there, you to there. Okay, so uh, Ashby, 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 Ashby can come in for Barry. Um, you're in there. Hamilton's there. Boys can stand the bench for now. Miller for Cook. And took a young. That's what we're going to do. <laughs> a few of those changes forced upon us. A few of them we had to make. <laughs> which is the same as being forced upon us. A few of them we didn't need to make. But I felt we need to rotate it a bit. Um, Keith Barton gets the start of course. And then we've also got uh, Sam Barke on the bench. And Boys as well. Who will probably be introduced at some point in the game. Um, depending on what's what. Depending on how we're doing. Where we are. And also, depending on if we pick up any more knocks, because of course we could see another couple of players pick up bumps in this match. But here's a good one. We're 10 minutes in and we've not done a lot. Out to Miller, good ball. Poor touch from Miller. Poor touch. Gomez. Hamilton not really getting it at the moment, is he? Well cleared. Well done. Go, Hamilton. Oh, you fighter. Imagine if that had gone in. That would have been an absolute belter. Oh, dear. We are losing to Cyprus. This, my friends, was not part of the plan. Let's have a look at it, though. Marcus gets through. I mean, look at that. He's poor defending all round there. Very poor. Very poor. Didn't give the keeper much opportunity there. Um, aggressive. Demand more. Go. Anthony Wright, our old chum. They have got some good players. There. There's a couple of players I've seen. That I've been like, wow. Um, aggressive. Come on, you bastards. Right. Um, sorry, mate. You're coming off. Half time, Jim Hamilton. Get somebody with a bit more experience on. Um, not ideal, I know, for his development, but sometimes needs must. Oh, goody, Lavelle's picked up a knock. That's forced to change on us. I can't believe we're losing. But this is what I mean. We need to see how the, you know, the, the less prominent players react one oh man alive um I send you on and I thought that was a penalty then the way everybody just sort of sauntered away I envisage Penaltio coming up then. Right. Uh, we need to... We need to... We need to change stuff. Right, get up there. Um, uh, you there. You there. Yes, 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 yes. That'll do. That will do. We're going to lose to Cyprus. 
We are losing. We have lost to Cyprus. It's coming. The whistle is going to go. The whistle is going to go any second for us to lose to Cyprus. We've lost to. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's fucking priceless. Um, well, luckily, it doesn't have a massive detrimental effect on us, but it does prove the point of what I was saying, that when it comes to losing big players, and funnily enough, it kind of forced my hand with the injuries. Um, oh, so we have qualified then. I'm expecting the forthcoming European Championships. We did qualify. That's that's fine. That, it, sorry, it just threw me. It didn't seem like we played enough qualification games, but we have. Um, absolutely stunned by defeat. You're not the only one, mate. No surprises, but England keen to build. England squad around ne negatively. Well, fucking duh. Um, but yeah, so... it. it like I say, it forced my hand into the fact that we had to play those players because you look at the players that went out injured. We lost Mowbray, first team player, Smith, first team player, Rolf, first team player. Admittedly, I fucked up. I didn't put in the left bat, which was my mistake, obviously. But I know now, I know now, a couple of players that are not going to be involved. In my mind, I've got ideas now as to who will be being removed from the squad. And then there's players coming back from injury, other players that are going to try and force their way back in. But it gives me... I am pissed that we lost that game because that is pathetic. But in all fairness, this is a very different world of football now in 2027. Um, but no excuses. We should have done them easily and we didn't. Um, we only lost 1-0. We didn't really look like conceding again, but we did not look like scoring. And that is a worry. But hey, guys, that's what it's all about. We know now that the backup players are going to be poor and we've got to compensate for that and we've got to pick the best even if that means the 33 year olds we've got to pick the best for now to help the youngsters through guys anyway i'm babbling apologies uh thank you very much for watching please continue to like and support the series if you're still enjoying it it's much appreciated and i will see you in the next episode but for now i'm out of time as always been an absolute pleasure being in your face Bye bye